Hi folks and welcome back to my channel. Hey, I'm Ron with Ideal and in this industry tip I'm going to give you, it's actually on standards. And uh, if you're not familiar with standards, this, these are documents that we use to tell us how to actually wire things properly and how they ought to perform once we wire them up. And uh, uh, we've had lots of different standards over the years and standard bodies that help write these things. And so if you're not familiar with people like ANSI, the American National Standards Institute, or the EIA, which is Electronics Industry Alliance, the TIA is the Telecommunication Industry Association, the ISO is the International Standards Organization, and another group group of people to follow would be the IEEE, or the International Electrical and Electronic Engineers. Now, standards have been around for quite some time, and they tell us how to wire things properly, and there's a number of them out there you gotta be aware of. One is the 570C, which is the telecommunication standard for residential applications, and it's gonna tell us how to wire the homes properly for basic phone, data, and video. Now, in commercial work, we follow what's called the 568B, and that's a standard that tells us how to wire commercial buildings properly for, again, telecommunication purposes. And there's a number of varieties of that, depending on the type of wiring you're actually installing in the building. Now, some others you might be aware of. Uh, one is the 569 standard, and uh, I tell guys that's a great read. It's actually a, a, a standard on how to pull wire properly. And it would even tell you how to dig a trench from one building to the next, and how deep and how wide and how to lay the stuff in a trench. So again, it's a pretty good one. 606B is a labeling standard. And I tell guys, yeah, you know, I can quickly tell a professional from a non-professional contractor, and that is the guys are labeling the wires with their pros. And so I tell guys, go invest in one of those lab labeling machines. 607 there is the uh, a standard on actually grounding and bonding a building. That goes above what the code book says you have to do for grounding in a building. And you find that these data centers can get very picky about the quality of ground they might have in that building. So again, if you're in the industry, you ought to invest in those standards. Now, if you want to buy any of those, you have to go to IHS, uh, Global Engineering Documents. They're out of Colorado, and they'll be glad to sell you one of those. And those documents are get upgraded every five years. So if you're in the industry, you're really probably going to invest in them. Hey, I hope that helped you. I'll see you on the next one.